Like, if you think about a system like this, right? Like, what are the things you need uh, in order for a system like this to be adopted into production? One is you need to have like at least once guarantee, right? Two is you need to have like scale to zero, right? So for example, Spark has this implemented. There's like a, um, a dynamic executor allocation, which means that if a particular executor has been like, you know, chilling for 60 seconds, the driver goes and kills it. But you're always going to have a driver node, which is alive, right? So like we want it for my, uh, for my use case, we want it to have like absolute scale to zero, which means that like, for example, we have regional event hub topics, right? Which means that, uh, you know, I have, I have an event hub and it's going to have topics. Certain Azure regions probably isn't getting a lot of data. Like, let me just say like, like Antarctica West, right? Like who's, maybe they're not using a lot of data. And so like, I don't want to have a bunch of Kubernetes pods that are just always waiting and pulling event hub just so when a data comes in in Antarctica, we go and like deserializing, right? So you want to have like skill to zero. So you're not paying when you're not using it. And this is where a project called uh, Kubernetes Event Driven Autoscaler, I'll show it in the demo. It's, it's actually like pretty awesome. It's, it's pretty amazing. So what it does is um, Keda, uh, it's got this thing called a Kubernetes operator, which is like nothing more than just uh, like a native uh, custom resource definition Kubernetes. And uh, it basically goes to Event Hub and it does a like metadata lookup saying, hey, Event Hub, in this particular topic, in this partition, do you have uh, like some new data for me, right? And then Event Hub is like, well, you know, the last offset is like, like 50, right? And then what Keta does is it goes to the Event Hub checkpoint, which is basically in, a, in an Azure blob storage where you as a writer, right? So you as a writer process would go ahead and like commit. Okay, you know, I'm at like point number 14, right? So Keta essentially it does a quick reconcile between the last persisted checkpoint, which is 14 versus um, what's in Event Hub, which is 15. And then what it will do is it will go to Kubernetes and say, hey, Kubernetes, go ahead and spin up this pod. And then this pod will go read that last transaction, commit it into Delta and then sleep. And so essentially this is like as close as you can get to like serverless data ingestion architecture.